hello everyone and happy Saturday so I just want to tell you I found my original household manual so if you've watched any of my previous videos you have probably seen my original control journal that I set up when I first started following the fly lady routines and this was put together in 2011 and just briefly going through it is my daily routines weekly routines um, important information financial projects and a home care maintenance now this I put together I keep it because it was my original a fly lady control journal and it's kind of sentimental to me but I currently have my control journal set up and I use it in my classic happy planner and again here are my routines my um, weekly cleaning routines uh, today list my to do's my zone cleaning routines meal planning and then again information in the very back so I still basically have all for the most part all the same sections that I had in my control journal I just have them set up now in my happy planner and this is what I access every day but if you've watched my prior video where I showed about setting up my original control journal my fly lady control journal you would know that I had talked about originally before I located or before I discovered fly lady I had what was called a household manual because that's what we used to call them back then and mine was set up I think somewhere around 2008 maybe 2009 I found Fly Lady in 2011 and that's when I put my my first control journal together based on the Fly Lady system so 2008 2009 it seems about right 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 for when I did my household manual and I used to call it my Bible my household Bible and this is it now look how thick this binder is and over the years again this was put together in 2000 we'll say 2009 ish and a lot of things have been removed from here just because the basically where I was in my life when I put this together in 2009 is completely irrelevant to today um, honestly the only thing that was in my life in 2009 that is still valid today in 2019 I'm still Ron and Brianna's mom every single thing else about my life has changed so nothing in this book was actually relevant valid or updated so so much has been removed out of here but I'm going to show you a quick flip through of the original Tina Haynes household manual so look at this this is so old that the spine of this book is literally rusted it's crazy so I have little menu printouts and I think that's the biggest reason I stopped using these binder systems because you could do the binder system you know I just feel like this is more streamlined in my happy planner right now because I felt like I was constantly constantly printing off stuff and just using a lot of loose leaf notebook paper but still a lot of people prefer a binder system for a control journal over I guess a disk system or even the wire bound it's just honestly setting up a control journal is a per personal preference whichever style you prefer but for years the binder system was my system so I had these print offs and these were some weekly menu plans that I used 
where I planned out my menus and shopping list. Now a lot of these haven't been used because like I would print off a bunch of qualities or quantities of certain things and then as my life changed I started you know playing around with different systems setting up my fly lady control journal then getting into using my planners um, some of these just didn't get used a lot of things I printed off that were basically um, I guess like a template like a master template and I'm gonna try to slide this over so I can get this in view and then I have like this whole section of daily pages <laughs> and so you would just put your date down your appointments um, I guess this was like your task for the day spiritual physical relational personal ministry financial a lot of this doesn't apply to me but you know um, these were like daily sheets and I, I would fill these out every day I would take seven at a time and you know put them together and then I would fill them out each week to do list five things you're grateful for today and two things you want to pray about so these were my daily lists that I use I found that I don't even remember where I printed these off from I'm just making sure that was all daily list then I had this little daily checklist and you can see right here I got this from chart jungle and it's called www.chartjungle.com now I haven't been on this page this was yep 2009 right there July 6 2009 at 9:53 p.m. gosh I was up really late working on my on my household manual but I would print off these master sheets and so this is just where I put in my cleaning chores and then I just had a bunch of notebook paper and I don't know if you can tell like how yellow and discolored this paper is it's been in this notebook since 2009 so it's 2019 now and it's past July 6th is that July 6th yeah so it's been in this notebook binder for 10 years 10 years and this was just like a little little pocket folder I had in there then I had a section for personal and this was like a little master medication chart that I had printed off well printed this off in 2010 so um, like I said I discovered fly lady in 2011 so I did have a lot of master like little master sheets that I had printed off this is a goal chart like a date your goal the start the time that you devote to it each week your estimated date to finish it and a reward for comp accomplishing it some comments and a little diary and journal section and a, a lot of these I just printed off one copy just to have like a little master and then here was like my rules for my evening routine look at this no caffeine afternoon I break that every day no sugar or carbs after dinner I break that most days eat dessert with lunch I could eat dessert three meals a day turn down the lights two hours before bedtime no exercise past 8 p.m. establish your nightly routine and stick with it be consistent I am pretty good about that now I really do have my nighttime routine pretty down pat be sure to finish your water for the day I rarely get all my water in for the day and it says consume cleansing drink and that is a um, hot water lemon drink and look right here 24 hours in the day eight hours for sleep and I broke down how many hours I have in the day to devote to work personal like taking a bath makeup hair studying for school cleaning the house dinner and then some free time and then again blank paper another little pocket folder then I had a fitness section with a water tracker again printed off in May of 2009 
a walk and run chart so you put your dates down if you walk or ran your steps your miles and your time like on august 30th and september 4th that's a pretty big gap in between working out but i walked two hours and one hour so it's no wonder i'm overweight if i only walk about ever what about ever three or four five days anyway so these are some more of those that i have printed off a calorie and exercise chart like your date and how many calories you eat for the day um, how long you work out for the day how many calories you burn and then I guess you take your calories eaten and I guess there's a the formula would be if you subtract the calories burned from the calories eaten and then the difference would be how many total calories you had for the day oh and then here's a health chart that I printed off in May 30th of 2009 at 7 48 a.m. so I was up early working on my household manual your date your calories your fat your carbs your protein salt um, sugar water your meals breakfast lunch dinner Recording your blood pressure, your exercise. Oh, this is something. I honestly forgot about most of these because this thing has been packed up for years and I knew I had it still because I just put so much work into putting this thing together. Like I knew I would never just throw it out. Um, and nobody I couldn't give it away because nobody would ever want this mess so I knew I still had it and I just found it this week as I was going through the office closet putting the things going through packing and getting everything pulled out to get ready to move yet again and there's another walk and run chart and then some more notebook paper and then we have another folder a pocket folder but look we got some little printouts in here and we have a camping checklist we used to go camping a lot like I still love camping camping is the best except I've never gone camping here in South Florida and I've never wanted to go camping here in South Florida um, yeah there's way too many uh, critters that run around down here that will kill you so but when I get back to Georgia camping is definitely back on the list so it's just a great little um, master checklist for things to pack when you go camping and I printed this off in 2010 a weekly menu plan um, looks like I printed this in 2009 with a grocery list and then another little daily sheet with I guess right here you can put the time in and do like your time schedule for the day you log your food for the day to do lists and a little journaling and notes section so I really went through a lot of printer paper for this household manual and here is a household section and look right here yes please on May 21st 2010 again at chart jungle like chart jungle is a great place if the website even still exists I haven't been on it in years but an emergency preparation checklist yes and if you watch any of my videos and especially any of the ones recently when I was prepping for a potential hurricane Dorian you'll know emergency preparedness is something that's very near and dear to me so it's a nice little check off of all the things that you need to pack and prepare for an emergency now this was a piece of paper that I have labeled bins it says bins so the the concept of this was was you know you get those plastic um, storage bins little storage totes like at Walmart or Home Depot or whatever and in my garage I had a shelf put in to put those bins on 
Now I was going to put numbers on each of those bins and then label what was in each of those bins. So if, say I needed a specific setup for some Christmas decorations and it was in bin number four, then you know I would have it written here. And when I went to go retrieve it, I would go look for bin number four, pull it out, get what I needed. So a tackle list, which was not really so much about football, but things that I needed to tackle, like big projects that needed to be done. Here's the little household cleaning schedule. And this right here looks like it doesn't make any sense, but the letters and numbers corresponded with what was down here, like clean the kitchen, clean the living room. See, like this one has an M, which was minor repairs. So on Saturday and Sunday, you do minor repairs, 11, 12, 13, which was vacuum sweep and laundry. So that's what you did on Saturdays was vacuum sweep and laundry and do minor repairs of the house. So it was just a, a little, just a little organized chart. And then here is organizing your junk drawer step by step. Like it was all the steps to pull out and organize your junk drawer. Um, again, here we are back at Chart Jungle. So definitely Chart Jungle is worth checking out. I need to look them back up and see if they're still up and running. Because again, this was 2009. So here's a list of like outdoor chores. Um, these are Chart Jungle as well. Laundry and utility. So this was weekly and monthly, which I think I used. Well, again, this was all before I discovered Fly Lady and zone cleaning. So these were the, um, I guess like the charts or the schedule that I did my cleaning with. Bedrooms, like your weekly, your monthly. Living room and dining room, your kitchen, bathrooms, office and computer. And then this is a three month schedule. So morning, this was your dailies, weekly things, uh, which they all have kitty litter. I don't, I don't have cats. Um, and then your three month schedule, like on the first week on Monday, you change the air, the AC filter. Tuesday, you wash your woodwork. Wednesday, check the dryer ductwork. Thursday, clean a closet. So I guess it's kind of similar to what you would think about zone cleaning because it's like for three weeks, it's a more detailed, like straighten books, CDs, DVDs, um, clean out three drawers, check the water heater and the power box. So this was just a nice little, uh, and then seasonal, like plan your garden, service the air conditioner, um so it was just a little you know system that i come up with um this looks like from 2009 it says flannery companies i don't even remember but it's just a weekly checklist for cleaning so your bathroom kitchen bedrooms laundry and checklist for spring cleaning so like in the spring cleaning, you would vacuum your refrigerator coils and clean the oven. In your bathrooms, you would throw away old makeup, lotion, wash the shower curtain. And then here's like just a little morning routine, an afternoon routine and an evening routine. And that's very, very similar to the fly ladies routine and a, bo a before bed routine which some of these were printed off in 2010. I did discover Fly Lady in 2011, start using her system. Uh, just a little weekly checklist. A day-to-day -day routine, Monday, your weekly blessing hour. Now that is something that is in the Fly Lady system. Tuesday is free day, Wednesday is paperwork. Now this really does sound like fly lady 
Thursday is grocery and errand day, and this is Friday is zone cleaning, so that's where it would be different. Saturday, family day, Sunday, renew day. Those are all like fly lady schedule, but fly lady got us doing our zone cleaning every day, so I don't even know where I printed those off from. Um, here we go, spring cleaning some more. And here is like the zones, and it tells you like the front entrance and dining room. The kitchen, bathroom, master, living room, last few days of the month, first few days of the month, and then the full weeks. And then here's a breakdown of the, the exact chores that you would do for each zone. Um, let's see. Here we are back to emergency preparedness. <laughs> 11 points for preparedness for evacuation. So I only see four written here. Here we go. This is really broken out. There's up to seven, 10, 11. See, printing these off of the website sometimes was a really big a waste of a lot of printer paper. And I think that's why I got out of the binder system was because I just got really burnt out on constantly printing stuff off then you have to like hole punch it and put it in the binder so it's just so much easier to use the filler pages of the happy planner because the happy planner offers so many different types of the paper and uh, that you can use in their system and it's so customizable so you can use a lot of these templates to even make like your own charts chart jungle again grocery shopping this was broke down by section like fruits dairy breads frozen cleaners and then here's like a little template for menu planning and grocery shopping i don't think i ever used this paper because i can tell you right now that space would never have been enough space for me to write in and here i must have discovered something about fly lady because here's the recipe for fly ladies cafe mocha now this recipe was easy awesome and i used to make this and keep a container of it all the time on hand and i used it for years i think i finally stopped using it when i got on the keurig bandwagon and just started using the keurig but it was just three cups of instant powdered milk, two cups of Nesquik, the chocolate milk mix, and a cup of instant coffee. You mix it together and then three teaspoons into a cup of hot water. Simple, simple, simple. And then again, more filler paper. Financial, I have took a lot of that out because from 2009, absolutely nothing. Um, it's irrele is relevant to me anymore. And then here's another little folder that has, oh uh, goodness, these are bent up, but spring cleaning tasks, holiday decor, um, entry, foyer, dining room, kitchen. I've got the zones here. It says spring cleaning, but I've got it listed as my zones. Zone one, zone two. Zone two is the front porch. So zone three, zone four, master bath, master bed, living room, zone five. Then I have a price book, which was, I think, I think I printed this off. I think it was like for things that you want to buy just to like write it down and how much it costs just to kind of figure things into your budget. Another daily page. And here is um, She's Organized. And I think, what did she mean? I think it was, oh, was it stressed out home executive something home executives and it was basically for like stay-at-home moms I never was a stay-at-home mom since my kids were like babies but 
um, my excuses and basically this is no more excuses and you write down all the excuses that you give yourself and then you stop making excuses more daily pages let's see what else we have here uh, to do work sheet I want to be and then you just write down the list I guess that was kind of like a, a work that's a to do to have and to be a clearing worksheet observations action needed and priority things that just needed to be cleared out on my mind I need I want I have to past present future and an action uh, my weaknesses my strengths and my activity list so those were just some more templates that I printed off that I used the filler paper to go back in and write down oh goodness we're almost through the end was auto now obviously the car that I had in 2009 I don't have anymore and then final projects and look how discolored this paper is so this was really neat and it was a great way to get me started um, getting my home organized decluttered just kind of building the systems and it's really I mean I guess I should part with this I don't use it but I really put a lot of work into it and it's got some great templates um, I can always go back and take paper and just kind of you know build my own things plus I have tons and tons of uh, notebook paper that I can always go in and write on so I will not part with this nor will I part with my original fly lady control journal but I just was so excited that I found my original household manual and I wanted to share it with you so if you use a binder system because I know a lot of people use a binder system for the control journal that do the fly lady system so if you use a binder system share that with me I would love to see how your binder is set up if you started out with a binder system and graduated to something else tell me what you use because this was my system for years and just within this year you know I set mine up in my happy planner so I would just love to see your household manual control journal whatever you call it thank you for watching this I hope you've enjoyed this I hope you've learned some ideas and if you don't currently have a control journal or household manual I, I hope that you will be inspired to set one up for yourself so have an absolutely amazing day bye